Uh, what's good guys? It's Batman here. Um, doing a little bit uh, something different today. So I got my boy Jay the Great here as well. Yes, sir. Um, we're gonna do a couple reactions and then um, you know we'll kind of just uh, go with the flow, with the have some chill vibes, or whatever, and then eventually he'll have to bounce and then we'll continue to stream on for a little longer. Um, but we're gonna get into it. Uh, what we're doing is it's about uh, Tatcha Chia versus Batman. Honest thoughts. I, in my opinion, I think it's a very underrated topic because um, I did a lot yeah. of searching and I couldn't find really any naruto versus dc or marvel videos or even batman because i was wanting to see if i would be the first one to do a batman versus naruto and clearly i'm not um he's the only one though that's done it he's the only guy yeah. so very unique topic but very yeah. interesting topic too so yeah exactly and he does his thing he has twenty three thousand um subs so as always i'm not sniper wolf <laughs> <laughs> um what's it called make sure to check him out give him all the love and you name it i think he just does all kinds of shit to be honest with you you know marvel yeah i've seen dr doom yeah i've heard of him too he has good he has good content yeah. okay yeah like he does all kinds of shit marvel dc naruto you name it so if you guys are in those yeah. type of vibes apparently he even does podcast yeah but, he's kind of like uh that yeah. one guy crisis uh, he does a lot of uh, comic oh, book stuff okay. all good stuff yeah, yeah i know uh, crisis uh didn't he do like some yeah. some editing and shit for seth at a certain point yeah, and he yeah. he does great video. He did like a, a scaling, I think like Spider Man from the video game. He does a yeah. bunch of this guy's similar, really cool stuff. So, yeah. oh. oh shit, uh, six is actually long. so today is probably going to be one of my most controversial and complicated videos because <laughs> this is where, as a community, we decide where we stand when it comes to power scaling. Because when I floated this idea. And the reason I floated it is literally... Real quick, it definitely is contentious because I didn't say this before. I said this before off recording um, with Jay, but Batman's a composite character. You know what I mean? We know everything yep. about Itachi. We know what his limits are, what he can do, whatever you name it, you know? Um, Batman, yep. on the other hand, he's a composite character and basically what that means, he changes. There's a moment where he's basically built like a human, you know what I mean? Or not that experienced, whatever you name it, and in the development stage. Then there's a moment where he's kind of... He kind of is built different. You know, he's doing his thing, whatever, but he's balanced. Then you have moments where he's just fucking cracked, you know, and it's like, so it depends what version we're talking about when it comes to Batman. Like, there's Batman that, like, and I'm talking about mainstream Batman from, like, in the comics in DC right now. There's a yeah, Batman exactly, that would yeah. just wipe the fucking floor with the entire Naruto-verse, if I'm being honest with you. Just based upon oh, certain yeah, scaling easily. or whatever. Like, you yeah. just see the speed blitz, or even if you don't think travel-wise, with his reaction and combat speed bare minimum... He, he'd just be too fast, and he'd just be giving them the fucking hands, and they're fucked, you know? And along with his intelligence and his in-character tendencies, how he, like, you know, plans or strategizes or just even analyzing things on the fly, he's he's fucking cracked, you know? So if it's, like, a Batman yeah. like that, he's slamming. If it's a, a balanced Batman, where it's, like, you know, either relative or equal scaling, at that point, that's where it can be really interesting to talk about, which I'm assuming he might be going just that direction to make it contentious and fair. Um, and obviously, if it's the most human Batman we've ever seen, which is, like, you know, zero one. Or, or uh, yeah, year literally. zero Batman, or or you know, or uh, fucking year, yeah, yeah, uh, fucking uh, year zero or year one Batman, like he just get folded by Itachi. You know what I mean? Like Itachi, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Itachi just speed blitz yeah. and kill him. You know, like so. <laughs> yeah, the fact he said controversial, yeah. it seems to imply he's gonna pick like a iteration of Batman that's probably relative with yeah. pro probably with prep time. I'm assuming to Itachi. If he picks like the Batman who laughs, this is a new, this is like a two minute video. It's very <laughs> quick. If, it, if he picks. If he picks year one Batman, still a two-minute video for Itachi's favor. So yep. he probably is going to pick like a relatively, a, like a relatively relevant uh, iteration of Batman. I'm assuming. So yeah. I guess I'm pretty sure it's probably going to happen. I'm guessing at least. So exactly. You know what I mean? So that's basically yeah. what you're working with. Uh, we're not going to have a lot of pauses because for the most part, we'll probably more than likely be in agreement unless it's like absolutely outrageous. But I highly doubt that. Yeah. But um, but that's what I'm I'm assuming along with Jay because it's 24 minutes long. So this is going to have to have some contentious value. You know? Yeah, so. exactly. Need for this video to happen, so shout out to my member for uh, donating for this video. But when I okay. when I floated the idea, oh, sure. I was curious to see, you know, what people thought of the matchup, what side they were on. The answer to me after research, kind of obvious, but just looking at it, seeing all the comments and quick responses. First of all, obviously. It's a matchup that has some draw to it, and I can definitely see why. Both are brilliant characters. Both are some of the most beloved in their verse, and the craftiest in their yep. verse. Uh, and they're also super edgy. So, with that in mind... He's not wrong I there. I get the appeal there. But yeah, definitely. I
You stay out of my oh, way, fucking and ass. I'll stay out of yours. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. I might actually buy the fucking ad thing tonight. I'm over it at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Taking his bag. Leaning on one side, so I decided to go ahead and review Itachi versus Batman. I'm gonna go over Itachi Golden. first. We're gonna review the win Let's con see. for Itachi. I don't, like real quick, out of all characters, Jay, who would you put Batman against? Like, would you just do the verse uh, overall, or would you actually pick a particular character? Of uh, Naruto. Yeah. Definitely depends on the iteration. Clearly, if it's True. like a mainstream batman where he could defeat uh definitely above average like above peak human characters i'd probably say like most fitting maybe someone like i mean tachi is a great candidate yeah. uh tachi's goaded candidate minute what do you think about yeah. minato minato his his iq is why it would make it so interesting obviously right? shikamaru would be a great one just because yeah, of his IQ. Yep. and shadow possession uh, yeah that'd be fucking shadow possession oh. um who else Sasuke maybe would be like cool a, as well, you know, with his running on yeah. abilities and shit. That would be pretty fucking interesting. <laughs> maybe like a tanky character, like a, the Rikage. Like, it would be like Brute versus Brains. That would be a cool one. Yeah. Um, yeah, either like a really high IQ character, because that's how Bat what Batman is, or yeah. a very, like, bulky, like, tanky character, like the Rikage or, like, exactly. or the third Rikage. That would probably be the most interesting. Um, that's obviously, there's many more, but, yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like it's it's really interesting to think about. But, you know, I I can't agree any further either. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah. you know, but like, and and the reason why, guys, because if we're putting Batman against an idiot, I mean, like at that point, it's not even really fair, especially if it's equal or relative. Like he's just gonna outsmart the motherfucker and beat him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially prep, especially prep time, Batman. Yeah, I mean, holy shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, prep is even fucking worse. You know, so yeah. Um, so this is very very interesting, and I'm assuming he might talk about with prep and without too, but we'll see. So yeah, probably. Yeah. We are gonna see if Batman has what it takes to even you know respond to itachi if you like videos like this analysis like this make sure to hit the like button make sure to hit the subscribe i got you because the topic is already going to about... so <laughs> yeah definitely anything. underrated if topic you like content similar definitely. to this check the video description for the getting his ass Coffee beating his ass these are fellow content creators that make amazing I love, I, back too. Definitely check <laughs> yeah i love it i love it when batman fights can he just be beating people's ass so like clean and, and <laughs> fucking drip too bro yeah when if these Two iconic characters, one from comics, one from manga, were to clash. First up, let's look at Itachi. Who is Itachi? Itachi Uchiha is one of the most famous ninja in all of the Naruto verse. Uh, the older brother to Sasuke Uchiha, uh, the main rival to the protagonist uh, Naruto. When we look at Itachi, he's viewed even in his verse as one of the smartest characters to ever uh, exist. And strongest. And he's a yeah. famously yeah. a member of the Akatsuki, which he joined after, bet quote, betraying the Leaf Village and assassinating his entire clan. Now, Akatsuki members, this is important, each one specifically are employed with the task of capturing... Like, I'll put this out here, because, like, you guys know I am. I love Batman, and I'm not, I'm not going to be biased either. But this motherfucker, yeah. Itachi, as a kid, was smarter than Bruce when he was a kid way oh no, for sure way kid, fucking smart yeah it's not even close yeah. like at the age of what six or seven he was already thinking like an adult and okage blah blah you name like he's just he's no joke dude <laughs> yeah he's way way more intelligent at that age thus they should be up to par and they have to be strong enough to do so these tailed beasts um have feats that put them anywhere from like country to uh, continental multi-continental so you have to be able to be somewhat huh. in that range to even capture them one of the weaker Akatsuki Hang on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. He said, he said Itachi's multi-continental or low-continental? I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah. That's a little high. <laughs> That's like Hashirama. Multi-continental. Yeah, it's like modern Hashirama. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, at high, like, it's hard to exactly quantify, but at yeah. his highest, he's not even a high AP character in the first place. I would say. He's more hacks, mm, you know? Yeah. Me, I'd say city, like city level. Like, yeah. City yeah, level, you know. Like. His highest AP ability is probably like the Osaka beads. Yeah. Uh, probably. I mean, if I'm being generous, he destroys like a decently sized city, like New York or something like that. Yeah. I don't see him destroying the fucking country, though. That's like. No, that's, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, like Madara and, and Hashirama could be doing some shit, you know, but like that. Yeah. But... Like those guys, they even have statements that they're like shifting yeah. the whole battle. Yeah. They're changing stuff, the like... landscape, destroying mountains, yeah. you know, like. Like so, casually, like one casually. slicer yeah, eliminating. Easy. No but, effort. Yeah. Yeah. Itachi, in general, is not an AP character. He's more of a hacks based. Exactly. So. It's like, because that's yeah. this. Country. That, yeah. yeah. Even country's too high to me. I'm not going to, if I had to gauge his scaling, like that's AP wise. 
Yeah. And uh, no, no, you know, so like, 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 no, no disrespect or anything, you know, them love, but like, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I, yeah. I'm really, I hope, I wish he kind of presented the evidence for it, because I'm assuming he's either doing calcs, you know, or some other crap. But the, if, if, and this is me pre presupposing, obviously, I'm not saying he is. Um, if, yeah. he, if he was doing calcs, you got to be careful with that because that's basically a fan made fucking scaling at that point. That's not like, unless it's being given by Kishimoto, whether if it's statements is that, whatever, blah, blah, you can't really say that's actually for sure. You know what I mean? It's arbitrary. You know? Yeah. Calc yeah, calcs are only dependent upon like your own arbitrary metric system. There's no way to validate your own, like anybody's, besides like Kishimoto himself making a metric system for these characters. So. Facts. Yeah, I, I would avoid calcs too. So yeah. yeah, you know, you want you want to utilize them. You want to basically be as objective as possible. You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong doing it if you want to just give more, you know, insight or maybe more entertainment value in a way. But but in personally, business wise, um, not business, but uh, debate wise, or if we're just being, being fully transparent, you know, what I mean, um, it's just not productive. You want to utilize what the, the author actually gives you, you know, and what we know for sure, yeah. you know, or just at least can be proven high possibility wise too, you know. So if, yeah, if you if you exactly. want to highball someone though, thing free reign, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. Blew up a three tails, stating he did a vast majority of the work. So this is important because Itachi's way above. Sasuke was. A it comes out of nowhere. One second everything's okay. You knew that. Reaching out for help. <laughs> yeah. You don't know if you beat Datora and casually blitzed him in hand to hand combat. Orochimaru uh, says Sasuke was in a different league from Three Tails Naruto. Yep. Three Tailed Cloak, that is, for those that don't know yep. Naruto as much. There's several tailed beasts. Um, and then Sasuke absorbed Orochimaru, becomes stronger. And this is important because Itachi goes on. I mean, I don't know if he knows Naruto as much as we do, but for the majority of what he's saying, he's just spitting nothing but facts. He clearly did his yeah, homework, he is. you know? Yeah, he's scaling, he's scaling pretty well. Yeah. yeah. To fight Sasuke when he's near death because of ninja aids, and at any point in the fight, he said ninja Sasuke aids the <laughs> stronger than Sasuke even near death the Sharingan facts allows yep. the user blind to mission and this is literally amplified when they develop the Mangekyo which obviously Itachi has um Itachi's first Mangekyo ability is Tsukiyomi it is one of the most strongest and broken genjutsu in yeah. Naruto oh yeah it is a mind hack that uh it can make you live out your whole life in like a picosecond uh, and can potentially one shot just to give you guys some entertainment if you don't know what that means yeah pico is extremely small like it is absolutely oh you would think it just show it right okay you're gonna be weird yeah um <laughs> fucking so right here yeah so i'm gonna just highlight it for you guys pico second is a unit of time with the international system of units si equal to 10 to the, uh, to the one trillionth of a second one trillionth of a fucking second. <laughs> it literally says a picosecond is to one second as one second is to approximately 31,000 years. That's a fucking it, astronomically times smaller than a, even one second. <laughs> so that's ridiculous amounts of speed. And that's how <laughs> potent and I guess thorough his Genjutsu is. It could literally eliminate you probably before even your neurotransmitter just even yeah. realize that you're dead like it's fucking yeah, that, that, like that's the problem like it even negates the weakness of genjutsu where you can't even be broken out or do anything because by the time the effect is the damage is already done it's too late you know what I mean? like, yeah. yeah this is preposterously faster than the speed of light by the way yeah. way faster just to put that into perspective yeah like, and holy shit and that's further supported because right here it's like it can be covered by multiple one ps but by the speed of light blah blah etc you know so yeah <laughs> yeah pico second is insane like insane yeah mind hacks Amaterasu is his second ability. It spawns on whatever target his eye is focused on, and it burns until there is nothing left. It's also said to be almost as hot as the sun. Yep. He also has his massive Susano in yep. case things go south. Uh, and go to defense. Comes with some oh yeah. Specific um, weapons that amp him. And that's going to be a problem because if Batman is even equal or relative to this guy, okay. Like, that's a problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's going to have to use some gadgets. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh, he's yeah. not punching through that. He's not kicking. He would have to outskill it. You know what I mean? So he would have to yeah. use some gadgets or his intellect to deal with it because that that is a problem. 
Yeah, that's a huge problem. It's like fighting for... Green Lantern, basically, you know? <laughs> yeah, literally. That's like literally what it is. It'd be like fighting like Kyle Rayner with his fucking like <laughs> Green Lantern fucking giant exosuit <laughs> around him or some shit. Like, it'd be fucking crazy. And the only difference in the problem where it's even more broken and powerful, Green Lantern, you just take the ring off that sit or outsmart, you're good. This, it's in his yeah. fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, there's no way to like remove it via like removing parts of his like at like fucking parts of his clothing or anything you can't like you have to kill him basically or he has to run out of chakra that's the only way so yeah like so that um, that's gonna definitely be a fucking problem he would have to, to use a gadget or intelligence he has to. yeah you have to yeah totska blade and yadamir the yadamir is stated to reflect all attacks and the totska blade yep seals away the target literally puts them in an internal and batman batman would deduce that let's be real he would know like he'll find out he'll do it like right he does a battering explosion whatever he's like hmm nothing fucking works you know what i mean like you just immediately deduce and analyze that and he'd be like i had to like probably attack from the sides whatever blah blah like if this actually was happening you know like yeah he would deduce so, that pretty quickly like yeah. after a few attacks yeah. it's a problem though you know <laughs> yeah huge problem yeah uh his susano also has the yasuka ble uh, beads which are essentially a massive grenade yeah he used these to yeah. destroy the chibaku uh tensei and it was likely his strongest technique and he didn't even do all of them right jay he did like oh what two or three <laughs> yeah he threw like several yeah because yeah, like madara like when he did it he did like like i think 10 plus you know what i mean which i think is the oh, max shit. you can do yeah, yeah. I mean, so like this was like a fucking <laughs> like a necklace, like a fuck ton of them. Yeah, uh, you know, it's so like he didn't even like do all max amount of AP. He just like did like a suppress attack, basically. You know. Yeah. Based on who he's beaten, who I've mentioned, he also should scale FTL, uh, given he's dealt with characters that deal with light speed attacks, um, and scale massively above lightning. So yeah, there we go yeah. for Atachi. Now, what are the arguments? in this what are the win cons so do you agree with that jay the way he just said right there he uh scales above lightning whatever etc oh yeah by far even yeah. near his death but he's reacting to fucking kieran which is lightning blatantly and then literally when he's like near his near his prime he's reacting to casey and naruto and reacting to nagato which is speed of light. like to hate that yeah so yeah he he's definitely uh faster than speed of light um he's definitely in that range that's for sure so yeah if I you want if that. you want to like low um if you want to uh fucking if you want to be like really really low ball then obviously like he said lightning um but if you like uh, even though i'm gonna be honest with you like technically this doesn't apply because him being the speed of light whatever that's like that's not high balling that's technically what it is too but but for, yeah. for the sake of um me communicating this you could say low ball is a lightning time high ball is the speed of light so but yeah, personally really. personally lightning personally i think um speed of light is is low ball and i don't think that's high yeah ball. i agree so yeah especially with the edo the edo stuff so yeah first off could itachi mind hacks batman does batman have i'm, gl I'm glad he brought that up because i was gonna ask jay about that uh, as well like do you think genjutsu would yeah. affect a normal human you know what i mean so yeah that, this i guess all depends on how like chakra would interact with the well, we would presuppose an individual that doesn't contain a chakra network exactly. we presuppose he doesn't that's an interesting interaction you know, there is no real way to objectively conclude on it. I guess no. uh, Jobbers is going to have to like presuppose how that would go down. Yeah. Um, I, you could argue for both ways. Um, it, it's can. really impossible to objectively answer that, no. honestly. Okay, we, we would have to get like <laughs> the writer of DC and Naruto to, to give us an answer. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, I literally have to have like a conference and sit down together and answer well, that so we, question. So we, yeah, like we we could only yeah. basically in a nutshell we could just only really go off possibility, but it's very contentious and we, it's a kind of we just don't really know situation. So basically, it just boils down to equal interpretation. Um, yeah. If you really analyze it in a, in a way like at least from what I know from Naruto knowledge and Batman as well, um, from Naruto the only thing that's ever shown to affect animals and humans or just creatures with no chakra right um, is the infinite Tsukiyomi, which was an alien. Um, you know, Rin is shotting on Genjutsu, not a shotting gun or MS Genjutsu. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was like a special outlier. Yeah, it was, it, it, yeah, exactly. It was a special outlier where it affected the entire world and all species and animals. You know what I mean? So if yeah, it's something literally. like that, then I think that would definitely affect Batman as well because why would he be an exception? You know what I mean? That's a little weird. Yeah. Um. So higher possibility, I would say it should. We can, obviously still can't say definitively because at the end of the day, it's fucking Batman. And for all we know, he just still be built different somehow. <laughs> like, you yeah, know? literally, it could be like due to, due to the being different verses they could literally write batman to not chalk or not be susceptible to it exactly yeah, or, or like or he outsmarted it somehow and that's why or some you know bullshit yeah. you know so 
so, which is in character yeah Yeah, it's in so. character so like overall it's it's still interesting and not definitively but once again with po- possibility you could say that so meaning therefore what we do know in naruto like genjutsu it, it, it needs chakra right i mean it, if you don't have chakra you basically can't use genjutsu you know so yeah at least from everything we got from naruto and how it's explained etc so i'm really interested and curious to see what he says in this yeah exactly yeah for the genjutsu I'm gonna review what Batman's resistance uh, resistances are to mind hacks, and, and that too. Batman has a lot of resistance to mind hacks abilities too. That is a thing as well. Yeah, and that is true. He has a yeah. lot of feats, and it's you know, so, it's, it's, <laughs> so he's a very strong will, a very strong will character that breaks out of stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah. if anything, you could argue that even if it could work on him, he it just he would just snap out of it instantly. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's just that he's just built that way. What you think? But I'll also give my opinion each time we address a point. So, um, he, with no help, even, like, early on, was able to resist uh, Poison Ivy, who can mind hack even Superman. He can scramble his own thoughts endlessly to neg a telepath. He has been able to resist Starro. Um, what the fuck? And rip him off his face. That's pretty impressive. He wow. Auto defenses against yeah. mind And that motherfucker is no joke. Starro, he's like yeah, an alien Starro. that has, like... <laughs> like you know like bro some insane levels of power bro like what the fuck yeah. that's like that's there's like him like, resisting like, like it, the aliens from naruto resistance <laughs> yeah he uh, i'm pretty sure starro is like taking over most of the world yeah. in certain comic books so yeah but like, here uh let me get Star- starro the conqueror just yeah. just show, like we're not even bullshitting guys like we, we wouldn't do he's that fucking but cracked. he's fucking yeah. cracked <laughs> yeah he's a mind yeah, controlling just... intergalactic starfish uh leader of whatever uh, blah blah uh powers and abilities okay no we don't care about that we don't care about that uh, we just need okay this is where it gets where we needed oh uh, yeah able to influence minds via okay yep yeah, without latching onto all so you could even like influence your mind without even touching you um yeah remote mental influence even without a star parasite directly controlling the host a larger to influence minds on a more indirect level by reaching out to the dreaming within the resting subconscious mind so what the fuck? Like, wait, you're dreaming he can control you? Um, what the fuck? Able to uh, pro- appropriate induce sleep with the host to en- ensnare them within one's own wakeness fantasy. Therefore, by allowing it to probe and assimilate the mindscape of countless potential vessels at the moment start, whatever. Um, okay, it is his symptoms that they can have. Okay. Yeah, basically kind of like the, kind of similar to the Infinite Sukiyomi a little bit, but yeah. A little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. Let me see if there's anything else with his mind shit. Do, 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 do. Eat and drain and absorb planets, magnetic energy, and ocean life to surface. Life. Yeah, so he's planetary. He's a planetary. Yeah, oh, alien, for sure. You know, for sure. Yeah. Blatantly planetary. Yeah. yeah. So he's no joke. You know what I mean? Like, and then yeah. mind you, that means we're talking about board to level scaling right now. <laughs> so, yeah, he's fucking. Yeah, Star Wars <laughs> fucking cracked. Yeah. yeah. It resets his brain and can cause seizures if one to, should try to attack him and mind hacks him. That's uh, crazy that he negated poison ivy. Well. He has resisted. Yeah, Martian awesome. Manhunter too? That motherfucker is <laughs> cracked with mental telekinesis and shit. Oh hell no. God damn. Really being manipulated during mind hacks and it did nothing to him. Wow. It hurt the character trying to do damn. it. And it was commented like, "Yo, that's a waste of time." I don't know what the name is. I still love the name. Fuck, I don't remember the name. Of course I remember the name. We didn't even. T- he also uh so before he moves on to the next scene that that is ridiculous like poison ivy is like oh yeah yeah no it's pretty crazy it's cool this motherfucker is built different for one he's stronger he's than like Su- he's stronger than superman by the way he's basically superman but with hacks so yeah he's like the closest thing that like depending on duration he's like the closest thing to superman like exactly bro. he's yeah um so his shit the reason why that's just insane, we're gonna bring up the the fucking mental shit, blah, 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 no, we don't need all that. As you can see, with all the all the shit he has, like he's clearly ridiculous. Too many fucking hacks. Yeah. yeah. Um. So the Marsh Man is the most powerful telepath on the planet and one of the strongest telepathic beings in the universe. He's able to read the mind of every human with no difficulties. The only minds that can cause him trouble are insane minds. He can even read yeah. the subconscious mind as well. He's able to read minds over great distances and have been known to scan the mind of every person on Earth with a matter of moments. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. Um, this teleport extends the distance as far as away as the moon. Holy shit. Oh, uh, since it's known that the Martian... That means Batman also has distance um, mind resistance. Um, yeah, literally. Because You know what I mean? Because he, then he, like, if you're smart, he might as well just do it from a distance. Because let's say like you want to argue, oh, Batman can only do it if he knows he's there. No, that wouldn't be the case because then he would just try to do it from a distance and clearly it doesn't work. You know? 
Yeah. Um, telepathic, communicate with someone on Earth while on the moon. That's ridiculous. He's not knowing whether there's any limit to them or people he can uh, tune uh, to whether there's special requirements to be attuned to them. In addition to reading minds, Marshman has a multitude of other telepathic abilities, one of which allows him to literally reprogram the mind of a subject into oh, believing damn. whatever he wants them to. Fucking Kodo. Oh, God, yeah, Kodo. <laughs> <laughs> Casually, too. Uh, he can use his ability to help subjects forget things that he does not want them to So that, that's a shotting, and the shotting can do that as well. L- literally. Um, uh, does not want to remember as well as set up um, post type hypnotic suggestions so illusions pose- pose- so yeah literally the shotty gun illusions possession but possession. also Kodo astral proje- yeah. what the fuck mind control <laughs> okay uh, animal control telepathic relay what the fuck does that even telepathic mean telepathic assault Jesus uh, wait what the fuck does that mean uh, the ability Damn. to cause mental shutdown and that's like that's like Tsukiyomi <laughs> god <damn. laughs> you guys get the point this motherfucker is just cracked he has a many many hacks uh tele you know like shit so that's yeah. insane the fact that he's completely immune to that insane so yeah i'm gonna be honest this, fucking... it's not looking good for itachi again dude right nah now. yeah it's, it's really not uh, at one point came in <laughs> and he's not even talking about batman's willpower this is just straight yeah. up resistance like <laughs> literally called synapse kid uh synapse kid went into a coma trying to mind hacks batman there's two what the psych- damn <laughs> Imagine Mitachi does Genjutsu, goes in a fucking coma. <laughs> what, what, what was oh, his man. Batman trauma? Just that? <laughs> okay, bro. This is what I'm talking. Like, talking. I love me some Batman, but but Batman just be doing some shit that's like what? <laughs> it's like he's like fucking. He just knows how to win, man. If he wins everything, it really, it really comes down to that. He just knows how to correct, bro. Jesus Christ. This is entertaining me and Jay, as you guys can fucking tell. Yeah. <laughs> All those fucking feats he has. One, of course, being Batman, and one being Bruce Wayne. Batman. Has I'm glad he brought that up. That that is true. There's two separate uh, mindsets within Batman. I don't know how he fucking did it or trained himself, but there's yeah. one that's Batman. There's one that's strictly Bruce Wayne. It's completely that's two how, separate entities. Yeah, so. that's how good he is at like playing a character. He's yeah. that good at it. Yeah. Negged mind hacks that dropped everyone in the Justice League except himself and Martian Manhunter. What? So even Superman right. and Flash? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, he has a stronger mind than fucking Superman. That's crazy. <laughs> Before you think this wasn't impressive or like it was random, this was Martian Manhunter's brother performing the mind hacks. Wow. And Batman was easily able to resist it. Man, wow. Says Ned. He put a Martian Manhunter in a coma by resisting that <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's like, well, you try to fuck with me, you die. you're going to be fucked up. <laughs> the, man, the man hit the whole Justice League. He's like, I'm winning. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then Batman's like, uh, bitch, me and Martian are still here. And, and, and he loses his fucking mind, goes into a coma. Imagine that. Oh, my. Imagine God, losing damn. that way. <laughs> to a human, too. That's crazy. Mind hacks on Batman was an absolute waste. Nudge has literally been able to influence the minds of Green Lanterns who can resist telepathy with willpower. And Batman had better resistances. Yeah. His personal despair and pain can be weaponized as a defense for a mind hack. Yep. Um, he yeah. can also weaponize his own memories to overwhelm you. So, like, if you go into his mind and try to overwhelm him with memories or use his, uh, his trauma, memory, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Access them, yeah, that's not a good idea. Weaponize those to emotionally overwhelm you. He has resisted mind control that directly was shown literally right next to him, overwhelming Superman. Uh, he has also resisted mind hacks for 26 hours straight. What the fuck? God damn. <laughs> God hard damn. Man. He's a hard man to break, that's for sure. Now, now let's be real, though. If Obviously, if Itachi did Tsukiyomi, he's fucked then. Because if his limit's only 26 hours, Itachi could, bro, you, you, Pico, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, he, he, he <laughs> can make a Pico second feel like 80 years. Yeah, so, so yeah. like that, he would be fucked. But the problem with that, though, with all his resistance feats so far, and even willpower, it, it, it just... More than likely, possibly, just won't even work or fail. Or better yet, Atachi might go into a fucking coma. Martian <laughs> 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 Manhunter, like he could do it to the whole world, and fucking Batman broke him. Shit, man. Like, like this motherfucker. Like we're talking yeah. about Martians that have planetary level feats and can affect you in a matter of instantaneous with, with you know, their mind hacks and shit. And Kodo, it's basically Boruto Kodo, like with that one bitch Literally. that she when she affected yeah, that the one world. Bitch, Ida. That's who we're talking yeah. about right now, and this motherfucker is <laughs> just ri- like. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's, it's looking bad for Itachi, so... But, yeah, but, it doesn't look good. You know? So, overall, those are the mind hacks resistance. Some of them, at least. I heard that was a good show. I've only seen, like, the first season. Before this. 
It's, oh, it's yeah, really good it's so far, good. but I heard it's like it's really, really good. Batman stuff. So yeah, yeah, I definitely would say Batman could resist any genjutsu Atashi's thrown his way. Yes, White Marsh. I would agree with all the evidence yeah. you presented. You got me believed. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree too. Now let's be real though. We're gonna play devil's advocate here um, for Atashi. Obviously, if it's the other version of Batman, because once again he's a composite and he's just like a normal human, then he's fucked. He's he's definitely fucked. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like yeah, yeah. the only thing you could argue, like let's say if this wasn't nowhere near to this extreme ridiculous capacity of resistance, etc. Like let's say it's like equal, right, or relative, and so meaning like that Atachi could now get him in against you and try to use it as like an opportunity to kill him. You could still argue that Batman could like you know inflict pain on himself to break out of it. Obviously, he's not going to be able to use chakra to break out of it, or someone will yeah. help him. You know what I mean, like, but um, you could say maybe he, if he has like a gadget that could wake him up, that's a possibility. Or if he inflicts pain, because we know pain can also counter genjutsu, and he could easily just break right. his finger and then put it back together. You know, so yeah, exactly. That wouldn't be a problem. And yeah. obviously, this comes down to semantics too. Like, yeah. if you believe that genjutsu can't be broken out, and Batman would be included in that yeah. proposition, then he wouldn't. But if we're just using the the feats and the scaling he used, and it's dependent upon you know the strength of the mind, then Batman has a really good chance of breaking out. So it really depends on how like I agree. I think based off like literally fucking resisting the Martian Manhunter, he could literally like fucking mind warp <laughs> the entire world. There's probably a higher probability he'll break out. Yeah, yeah. If he can do that to him. He'll probably do it to this guy. Or just yeah. or literally resistance yeah. to where it can't even go into effect to to even like affect him. You know what I mean? Like yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Cause at that yeah. point, that's the problem. Like. Because it like that that's where it becomes an issue. Like it, it's if Itachi is able to land a Sukiyomi, you know what I mean? Like then at, at that point, obviously it's going to be a lot better because now you're talking about a hacks, ha, you know, hacks mind perception based ability to where you know it's going to be extremely difficult for Batman to even interact in a way. But then at the same time, with everything he's demonstrated, they can do the same shit. They literally have Sukiyomi mind hacks as well. So it's like it just still just doesn't look good for him. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally like he'd be in his mind and Batman's like, get the fuck out and like kicks him out or some shit, some crazy shit like that. Literally. Like he, he has that kind of mind and no one else in really Naruto has really displayed that like kind of like will no will problem. resistance and fucking crack. Not even Sasuke, yeah, so. not even Madara, you know, Obito, you know, like. Yeah, none of them. None of them have, honestly. So it's like, at the end of the day, it's crazy. But if we also, once again, follow along the logic of what Jay said. And if Sikiomi does hit him, then he is fucked. Because once again, th there's no defending that shit. You know what I mean? Like you're just yeah. Like th that's the problem with Sikiomi. It doesn't allow you to defend yourself. If you get hit and don't have resistance, you're done. You lose. You know exactly. Like so. Sukiyomi, it's the way it seems to be set up. It seems to be implied once it's once it's executed, you really can't resist. That's what at least it seems implied. Like yeah. you're within the you're within the discretion of the user's will it seems implied it depends how you argue it yeah. it seems once you're hit by it you're fucked like you're not getting out yeah yeah you know? yeah so it really yeah. depends how you argue stuff so yeah you know? yeah from the kakashi statements and from other things so it's it's crazy like like kakashi straight up told chia like nah that shit ain't like normal genjutsu where you could just break out of it or fight it or whatever if you get hit you're done there's no yeah you know what i mean like so, and mind you, Kakashi's super intelligent. He'd be the first one to immediately advocate for a weakness or a way to deal with it, you know? And exactly. then, then Chiyo's yeah. response, she's very smart as well. She's like, what is he? You know, like, yeah. so... Like, <laughs> like it's getting a special case. Like, it's yeah. fucking, yeah. You know? And, and that's the thing. We know Madara's more powerful, but not even Madara has something crazy like that to that hacks capability. You know what I mean? So you can, yeah, like, that's just definitely crazy. not get... You know? Genjutsu-wise, he doesn't seem to possess something like that. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah massively above any tele uh, telepathic feats shown in Naruto. It's not even close. True, like, yeah. Batman's trained. True, yeah. Full power. He has specific techniques and abilities to negate uh, mind hacks. He has complete awareness when he's being mind hacked. Um, and he's just shown time and time again defending against mind hacks superior to a Todd. Yeah, character that's the problem. Yeah. That are yeah, literally to him in mind hacks. Like, What's up, Loco? Show the necessary power to you, you. usurp his defenses, they get overwhelmed and sometimes literally like start seizing up and get dropped. <laughs> so Itachi might get hurt <laughs> trying to play in old Brucey's head. So you know, literally the fact that Itachi could potentially go into a coma is insane, bro. <laughs> like that's absurd. Like that's fucking cracked. If he did to Martian Manhunter, that's fucking crazy, man. Like uh, did you happen to watch the Minato versus Ken and Gen video? Uh, no, I just heard that uh, that the verdict was that Minato uh, loses or whatever. 
Um, the only the only uh, opinion I gave is like I did like a, a bat signal post. And I was like, nah, like that's not it, bro. But but no, I haven't <laughs> seen it, bro. So yeah. hopefully your boy Itachi avoids that route. In my opinion, Genjutsu is a horrible idea for Itachi. But yeah, in my opinion, Genjutsu and Mind Hacks are not a winning condition for Itachi. If you go look at Batman's history, definitely has faced way worse. Convince me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Captain literally. Negra. Moving on. Biggest question I had. Fear Fest is back. It's for the best. AMC. Get your Fear Fest, bro. This motherfucker getting the bag, though. Like, the amount of ads. Nah, he's, <laughs> he's making bag right now. I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, but real quick, Loco, too, uh, out of love and respect, like, um... Like, I respect it completely, though. Obviously, I'm assuming you're using certain rationale, reasoning, whatever, et cetera, you name it. So it's, it's unique to, to, for you to advocate for and against. So it's interesting. To this video. Does Batman have the AP? Does he have the stuff? Is he carrying around gear that can hurt Itachi? Because that's what, like, even if he can neg the mind hacks, right? He's got to be able to fight Itachi. He's got to be able to do something. Yeah, true. Sure. Yeah, he's he has to. The inevitable at that point. So does he have any gear that can make an impact on um, Itachi? Let's let's review. I will be so checking it out, has, though. I'm going to react to he it. He has metahuman cuffs. These cuffs are important because literally he worked on the design with Mr. Miracle himself, a character who literally can escape traps set by gods, like concepts. Mm -hmm. And these were made to be unbreakable and... Like, you can't escape them. Even Cheetah, who fights Wonder Woman on the regular, was held by them. What the fuck? His hook, um, grappling hook, when weaponized, actually can blast through parademons, which can fight members of the Justice League. Damn! Oh, yeah, nah. Yeah. This, this is not fair, bro. <laughs> this is not fair. Come on. That's just fucked. <laughs> yeah, so he's taking, just, he's taking a Batman that's just cracked, like, at this point. Might that, might that well just bring up the yeah. Hellbats here. <laughs> shit that fuck Darkseid, might as well. <laughs> okay, like, I, I'm over here thinking he was going to be bringing up a Batman that's, like, balanced or, like, you know, or relative or whatever. You know, just more of, a, like, a I could understand how it can maybe go either way type of vibe or be more in Natachi's favor. But if we go this direction with his gadgets or even his body alone, and, and he's already starting off with this crazy mind shit, like... It's not looking good for Itachi right now. I'm sorry. Yeah, like, the verdict he, is... He's not going <laughs> to... <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, Loco... Uh, no, no, facts. That's that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's why I say it's very unique. That you are definitely, at least to my knowledge, the first and only person to make that sort of argument. So it's pretty cool. I respect that. Absolutely. Um, but no, I'll definitely check it out. And um, and obviously, I'll give my thoughts and subjective view, whatever, blah, blah, etc. But, um, but no, I'm, I'm curious. And the thumbnail is goaded, too. So... His hooks have it's disrespectful to my boy Minato, but it's goaded. Uh, multiple hits <laughs> from uh, King Shark. He has one shot Metallo with an electric hook, as his grappling hooks can be electrocuted right away. His <laughs> gel or hardening gel. He's got that lightning style, baby. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Kieran right there. Yeah, you literally, but just a fucking battering. That <laughs> <laughs> canary, and she couldn't break through it with her voice. Um, his area of effect for his gel has been shown to like almost immediately cover a massive skyscraper. So the material can definitely Jesus easily, almost instantly cover something even as big as the Susano. For those that have a question about that, okay. Uh, Damn, he's he fucked. <laughs> blinding gel as well. If he aims for your eyes, because that's a that's a good question, Alice. Uh, to think about real quick, Jay. So if he throws a, basically, what he's saying is that he could definitely cover the radius, etc., and he has some good power. So if the if a battering hits it and the lightning stock goes all around, will, do you think the lightning could go through the Susano in a way to where he would get like electrocuted or no? Mm. Kieran was quite powerful. It seemed like an amped lightning strike. If yeah. that didn't go through it, that's what I'm saying. I don't I think mean, that would go through. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, that gadget probably wouldn't do the trick. Yeah. Uh, even the fucking the the explosive gel, even destroying a skyscraper, it is impressive. But Susano is extremely durable. Yeah, that's obviously. not going to do anything either. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, so it ought to be a, a higher power AP gadget, like like maybe uh, like uh, he'd probably have to use a suit, like the fucking Hellbat suit or some shit like that to yeah. really break through to, for sure. Oh, that would um, get definitely get through. Oh yeah, that would yeah, fucking that fold him. Dark side, <laughs> it's gonna probably shatter his Susano. It'd be like he died in one hit. Onwards. With how much yeah. force he died in one fucking hit, bro. 
Yeah, so, he'd probably kill him in one shot, honestly. Literally. So, you know, at that at that point, bro, like, Batman's gonna either need a, a fucking pill or a suit or a gadget to really get through that shit or some type of gadget that I just don't even know about or remember um, if he probably yeah. brings up in the video. But with everything he's showing so far, I just, I don't really think it's gonna do anything with at least what we know yeah, about these Hitachi. Things, no. Yeah, Yeah. Because yeah. um, the only time I was bringing that up is because we do know, like, if, if, like, if you're using Susana, like, and you're stepping on, like, like sand, that Gar was able to use the sand and it was able to still touch and then pull him out or whatever. So the Susana was not on your feet, you know what I mean? So then yeah. basically what I was getting at is if he throws a lightning and it's around that radius, whatever, if the lightning hits from that area, could it potentially electrocute him? Maybe, I don't know, but, but it's interesting, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he has a uh, gear that'll allow him to make uh, smoke clones, so, like, he could drop a smoke trap. And it motherfucker has smoke clone. He has a fucking shadow clone, bro. <laughs> what the Wait, fuck? Is that a shadow clone? <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? He's Batman a shinobi. Clones in there that um, can distract you. Wow. His smoke he literally has clones. shadow clones, basically. <laughs> they both be. It'd be Batman using shadow clones and fucking Itachi using shadow clones. It'd be crazy. Oh man. Be weaponized to burn you, uh, and it feels like it's burning. Like I'm sorry if ba if Death Battle, uh, I, I might actually ping Death Battle. But, and, and they probably won't even pay me any fucking attention. But either way, hopefully, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What's it called? But if they would actually do a Batman versus, like, somebody from Naruto or just a Tachiman or whatever, that would be so cool. That would be so fucking be cool, sick. dude. I'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be actually pretty Inside, sick. He can also blind uh, Superman with tech he has as, um, like, a metahuman flashbang. This is consistent as he has literally used the same. Yeah, that shit would fuck up Itachi, though. Oh, for sure. Like, if it, it could affect Superman, Superman yeah, no, I'm yeah. so... Like, if, if Itachi thought Sa Sage Mode Kabuto's fucking uh, Flash thing was bad, <laughs> that's yeah, gonna be a billion up. times worse. Like, yeah. He'll go blind a, he'll go blind a lot sooner, that's for sure. Yeah. On Dark Supergirl when she thought shit was sweet and tried to blitz him. She was like, yo, you're just a man. I'll literally kill you. I don't know why anyone hasn't, uh, like, blitzed you and just killed you. And he said, bitch, I'm not just a man. I'm Batman, stupid. <laughs> Yo. She had to sit down with her goofy ass because she tried to blitz. So he definitely Facts. has tech for that. Spectre. Okay, so that's that's not even fair for a touch. Bro. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on, bro. Because if, that, if that's good. the case, we're talking about Supergirl's no joke either. You know what I mean? Like, Superman's bro, whatever. Yeah, she... This bitch is relative to Superman. Relative. Bitch is Kryptonian. Literally. Uh. <laughs> so if she can do that and he's still reacting and surviving, whatever you name it, Itachi's fucked. He's getting the hands. He's, he's getting his ass. He's, getting bl he's blitzing Itachi. Yeah, he, at he's that point, Itachi. he's blitzing. Now, to be fair, he's only showing a reaction feat. It's not like yeah, Batman yeah. moving. So meaning if not it, like combating. Yeah. yeah, so if, meaning if Itachi like went up to him and tried to combat, he's getting absolutely folded one shot. So meaning yeah, if yeah, Itachi sure. would have to keep his distance, basically. And Itachi is super intelligent, so if he can pick up... Like, let's say he uses a clone, which he would, right? Itachi and character would test oh, yeah. out Batman first. They're both going to be filling each other out and testing. That's why it's going to be such an incredible battle. But yeah. basically, if, uh, you know, Itachi would send his clone, whatever, and instantly get no diff, and he's going to be like, uh, yeah, okay, I can't, I can't fuck with him hand-to-hand -hand, like, in close range. I'm going to have to fight from a distance. You know what I mean? So, yeah. but if he shows a travel feat as well... Then, then, then he's fucked. <laughs> like, yeah, he, he ain't clapped. Yeah, he yeah. clapped up. So I'm curious to see how this continues to go. But this, once again, this is looking really bad. Like really, yeah, he looks real cracked. Like, I'm gonna be honest. If I was making this video, which uh, spoiler alert, a little tease for you guys. Me and Jay are actually contemplating on potentially making a Batman versus Naruto verse video, where we'll talk about three composite versions: one that's fair, and then one that's uh, would get slammed, and then one that would just slam the verse, basically. Yeah. So, make it interesting, um, yeah. so to make it interesting, so far what he's doing is he's bringing up a Batman that's going to be slamming in certain yeah, aspects, gonna, not yeah. overall, but yeah. in certain aspects. So, certain aspects, yeah. yeah. Use the technology to blind Spectre and get away. Uh, his explosives can. He just brought up the Spectre, dude. That's an <laughs> omnipotent being. He's able to blind like, the okay. Spectre. It's a like universal character, yeah. That's fucking crazy. What the fuck? Like, you guys think I'm like I'm trolling? Yeah, I'm not trolling, bro. Hold up. Uh, yeah, you fucking... want to talk universal? This guy's fucking universal. Spectre, uh, DC. I'm not even spelling his shit right, but whatever. Hang on. Yeah, right here. This Spectre, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, dude, dude, dude. This motherfucker is literally up. You're talking about an omnipotent god. So yeah, he's a divine spirit of vengeance, a powerful agent of the presence. The presence made DC. He's literally the one above he's all. He's literally a god of. Yeah, he is god. He's basically. yeah. So he's omnipotent, and he got blind this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 like what? 
what the fuck? It's like, he's like fucking Shiba. Like, oh my, up, yeah, nah, Tachi. If he throws that flat, done, done. Yeah, he's <laughs> fucked, bro. Come on, bro. Probably not getting his so I'm gonna back. be honest. The, the way I see this going already immediately is Batman. He's very cold and calculated. He would also test him out with some shadow clone, whatever. You know, like, let's say it's cool, whatever. And Batman's having fun. is talking to shit. But the moment Batman gets serious, he's like, all right, I've had enough. Flash, and then fucking uh, Susano goes away, or bet, or better yet, let's say if you don't even think that Susano goes away, he just can't see now. You know what I mean? And yeah, then, literally. And then it just boils to who can outlast too. Which let's be real, Batman will most definitely do that because his endurance feats and stamina is ridiculous. And Itachi is fucking, you know, sick. Even if we're talking prime, yeah. he probably could last obviously more longer, but he's going to gas out eventually. He's not going to be able to hold the MS forever. You know what I mean? And Batman yeah. could just, you know, use a strategy and, and deduce that and then just outlast and then kill him. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he, he, yeah. Especially if he's blind. Yeah. yeah. Runs pretty casually. His explosive all. Fucking bitch. God damn. And I, I'm forced to watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I edit this bullshit out. I think it's in bag. Yeah. You probably know because you, you're you're really high with YouTube and everything and whatnot in business. Uh, if you had like the ad cancel thing on, like, does do they still get money or no? Uh, I think technically yeah, it has to like display that you watch through. I don't think you do actually. Okay, interesting. Uh, Damn, that sucks for them then. Have one yeah, it does. Killer croc. He carries potent enough explosives to drop Doomsday clones. Yeah, that's damn. insane. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, bro. now, now. <laughs> that's not. Now this is fucked. Yeah, that's shattering. Uh, I'm sorry. You're talking about Doomsday. Okay, can... Superman, basically. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Now, now it's the, yeah. He, this is not cool, bro. Like, <laughs> it, it. Like, if I'm being honest, he could literally just end it right here after this feat because he's basically provided all the evidence to re to resist mind shit. To blind him no matter what and blow up his Susano. He's fucked. Uh, he's, he's fucked. fucked man. He's fucked. <laughs> like, I'm, like, he could end it right here and then talk about, like, a Batman that would actually get slammed. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Especially if it's low tier. Or, um, what's it called? He could do, like, a Batman that's relative or equal. And then at that point, you could argue either way, but I actually might be more on Itachi's uh, side at that point. So Yeah, at that point, yeah. yeah. At that point, I would say Itachi would take it no matter what, if they were equal and relative. So, yeah. Damage as well, which is like DC's version of a Kmart Hulk. Um, his explosives are wrecked constructs, uh, what? constructs similar to lantern constructs. constructs they're also fucking the broken, bro. That's like oh they have like God. galaxy feats, universal feats. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Tasha didn't stand a chance. Staggered and amp Superboy, not Superboy Prime for casuals that get carried away. Jonathan Kent. So it's very impressive. Jonathan Kent will beat the shit out of Atachi. Yeah. Um, wow. His explosives that he typically carries. <laughs> His explosives are fucking broken, bro. <laughs> Superman vision when used destructively. I'm assuming he'll bring up speed feats eventually too. But um, well, he did bring up one technically. That was insane. Yeah. But one speed feat that I know of and aware in Jay as well <clears throat> is he was able to react to Reverse Flash, who's an evil bloodlusted Flash, basically. And we know how fast the Flash is in the Evil Flash, where they can travel through time, break the speed of light, you need the whole nine, right? And he could react and combat against them. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they literally, they literally are the speed force. So yeah. yeah, they are speed. So, them. and he's also able to knock out Flash when Flash was being mind controlled and was about to kill Batman. He literally reacts according while having a conversation with Alfred. He's like, Alfred, hold up, with no suit, and reacts, dodges the Flash punch, a bloodless and mind control Flash, and knocks him out. That's how fast this motherfucker is. <laughs> He's cracked. <laughs> also knock back uh, Superman one of, in one of their first supposed encounters. Um, his explosives in those situations are potent enough to at least knock him back. Oh, wow. Um, he can cut Gorilla Grodd with his batarang. That's a lot of force. Because Superman yeah. is ridiculously, like, durable. Like, he actually yeah. has raw durability, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, literally. He fucking, <laughs> he tanks, like, fucking shotguns to the face. Like, literally, and he don't move at all. Yeah, like, it could be a tank, it uh, could be a shot, whatever, and he don't even budge. The fact that he can at least make him, that's a lot of fucking force, dude. That's like, yeah, you know that's mean? a ton of AP. Now, so. now, obviously, he's not injuring him, you know what I mean? But still, that's still a lot of fucking AP, and that's not really, and that's not an anti-feed either, because Superman is just that fucking durable. Like, he's, yeah. You know, like, it's ridiculous. But at the end of the day, this doesn't even matter because we know Doomsday can hurt um, Superman. So the fact that he does have other explosives that can can hurt Doomsday, who could also hurt him, meaning, therefore, connect the dots, it would hurt Superman. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. These guys tank bombs, like, and yeah. don't move, so. 
for those questioning, oh, why yes, doesn't he use these all the time? Dumb bitch. If he used these explosives all the time, <laughs> like if he chose these weapons all the time, half of Gotham's underworld blows up. Like in the <laughs> Literally, bro. It's like beat you bombs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me use a, a doomsday killing bomb on on gotham city like oh my god dude they fucking destroy the city but like but, but let's be real like like babin who last like jay brought up before like fucking la uh, laugh aloud jobbers and goons i know him nice oh that's pretty cool bro uh, let, if you want to elaborate let me know um but so he's far dope, yeah. so yeah he's dope so far he's what he's been doing is his fucking goat i'm loving it i already like the yeah. video um but i just said earlier to put out like if we're talking just like the batman who laughs that motherfucker was able to defeat his entire universe, okay, everything, and it mind you, that universe is an exact copycat of our, of the other DC universe, the positive, right? So, yeah. which is insane, meaning he beat everybody, basically, and then, then he went to the positive DC universe, became so fucking strong and beat everyone to where he was basically an omnipotent threat, and then it took for the presence to send the divine hands to deal with him, otherwise, everything would have been destroyed. So yeah, like, literally, it's like he's like an enhanced Doctor Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. fucking crack. Man. So yeah. it, it, this is crazy. So like, like, yeah, like so this is realistic, guys. Like, we're like, this is not bullshit. It's not weird. Whatever. DC is just really weird, bro. It's really weird. You know? Yeah. Killing pretty much everybody. He doesn't want to do that. But when you're strong enough to handle it, he brings the heat, son. So like, yeah, he. he oh, for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. He's stronger yeah. than Penguin. Get the hell out of here. He's not going to use the same weapon <laughs> on the same class of characters. That's not how Batman operates. That's stupid. That, that's like expecting Michael Jordan to play a, a three-year-old the way he plays another NBA player. Oh, yeah, for sure. That That's the problem, yeah. though. Like, when it comes to DC, people are just weird. They don't understand the word composite character. They don't understand, you know, like, where things, like, inconsistency, right? Things like that, whatever. So like yeah like along along that spectrum of my mentality absolutely I hundred percent agree and I mean like you, yeah you, I agree like yeah you know. yeah like to when you're discussing comic book characters to make it as fruitful as possible and actually have like a I guess you could say a productive conversation you should yeah. at least pick out the specific the specific iteration from a specific writer so you're not like oh Batman has been shown doing this here and then in this continuity he did this and yeah this. Like, it, it, gets, it gets messy so it that is true it definitely depends like. If you use the composite perspective, then it is inconsistent. Yeah, you know, you just pick. So it it is better to like have that settled ahead of time. Yeah, because if you're trying, true. yeah, because if you're trying to make it equitable, you know, provide some equity, then obviously you you would want to go along the consistency uh, argument route because the Batman's consistently being shown to do this, and that that would be acceptable, right? That'd be fine. Yeah. But if there's like certain points where Ryder's doing this and Batman's doing something outrageous, and then in this one he's not, whatever, blah blah. blah obviously now you have like a, a inconsistency argument that you can provide you know or a composite argument you know so yeah exactly yeah batman uses his gear according to who he's fighting because he's not brutal like yeah. he's not trying to just yeah he doesn't kill him. yeah if he was comics would be way better but he doesn't <laughs> besides that mini rant that's just a brief explanation. imagine like a, a batman that's so like even more like mind you he's already dark and twisted and cold like he, he actually be doing yeah. some fun he'd be torturing breaking bones or even mo or <laughs> or making you lose your mind like mentally but let, imagine he was actually like gruesome as well like ripping your arm off and shit or fucking he'd be like a he'd literally be like a smart a smart punisher a smart yeah punisher, punisher. literally like a badging <laughs> oh no oh my god hell no or like, like he sees a guy he just rips his eyeball out immediately and fucking slams his <laughs> neck in the ground like <laughs> he stops his heart right away like yeah. fuck it it's just he's not as pressed to use it against certain types he, he's managed to cut Lobo before that was casually beating up uh, Red Lanterns in the same run he took out an Amazo clone and okay so yeah that's yeah no I'm sorry this, crack, this, yeah this Itachi just gets slammed Lobo he's yeah, absolutely is... broken you're talking about a Superman level threat who's also really intelligent oh my god Deadpool as well he's yeah. basically a fusion of Superman and Deadpool. That's what he is. Yeah, he, um, yeah, he taught you spunk, man. And Bizarre, and the other Amazon, or whatever the fuck, I know what he's talking about. It's a villain robot that basically had all the powers of the Justice League and could slam the Justice League. And so the yeah, fact literally. that he could go hand-to-hand -hand combat and damage them, once again, fucked. He's... That's, a, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Itachi would get put. He get fucked up. Yeah, he's done. Really bad. Yeah, he's getting fucked up real bad. non-physical beings. Poor Itachi, bro. Non-tangible beings with not even fair. metal batarangs. Not at all. This is he fucking this is a wash. That can work on gods from to be fair, when, when Seth DePetto did the video of... um. 
of Batman uh, against, you know, uh, fucking Goku. It was it was a simpler thing. It was just like he was taking the most prime, like the strongest moments, and like Goku was yeah. fucked. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like uh, Batman and, like I, whipped Goku's ass. Basically, <laughs> yeah. He has uh, folded. And mind you, Seth, I'm pretty sure he liked Goku more. Like if he was actually yeah, he biased does. or debating, he'd probably pick him. Yeah. You know. So using the crack version that was fucking sparring Wonder Woman. Like holy shit, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, appreciate the follows guys um, his lasers are on par with lantern's ap as he was literally shown cutting through something with Hal at the same time his lasers have also been able to or his tasers at least momentarily hurt superman his he does also possess cold attacks that are so potent they literally can freeze something that's not even tangible which shouldn't be possible what the uh, f <laughs> What if you freeze the Shisano? Literally, you can just freeze oh the Shisano and he's done. Like, get the like, fuck out of here. You can't fight when you can't move. Like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> now, to be fair, if we're being really logical about this, I think the Yadamir would be fine. So, meaning only the Yadamir is not frozen, but everything else would meaning he would die still. <laughs> like, yeah, he'd have to use Amaterasu right away or some shit. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck, oh my bro? God. His which, action. if you want to highball Itachi, which, if we're being transparent, this is not the case, but if you want to highball, Madarat is said to be as hot as the sun. So, meaning, he would yeah. definitely be able to... It's hot. Yeah, he would definitely be able to, to go through this ice scent. But but that's just crazy, to free something that's intangible, meaning, like, basically, like, calmly. I mean, like, you're not even there, you know? And just yeah. that strong, like, that's... He's basically altering the laws of reality at that point. Like, that shouldn't be possible. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah, literally, he's, like, transcending, like, physics at this point literally it's some crazy ass shit uh, i don't really like goku not a fan of dummy characters damn bro what goku's, <laughs> goku's cool like, bro. compared to batman most most people are dummies compared to him to be fair true true yeah, yeah. uh is special and can actually burn constructs that were created by simon baz and we saw baz's chest literally burning up wow um, and through the Goddamn. construct itself. that's insane ap forced to go toe to toe yeah that's fucking barn. crazy before i got fire stuff <laughs> He got it all, bro. He got lightning style, fire style, ice style, bro. But like absurd scaling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, like you don't even need to have chakra or learn jutsu. He just got that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't even need fucking jutsus, buddy. With his little weird ass, ass, with his little weird ass utility, bro, bro. Now, you want to know another funny thing? If we're actually like, if me and Jay, like, no joke, like, if we're even gassing Batman up even further, if Batman actually was in the universe, in the Nartiverse, he probably put pull in Omato. And just be making some crazy suit or robot, or somehow allow his body to have chakra now and just do crazy shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, he'd build like he he'd build like a cyborg Superman or some bullshit. Like <laughs> Literally, bro. Uh, it'd be fucking crazy. No crap. It managed to hold his own. The L, L said so because he's Batman. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Literally. Does he have Facts. That can hurt Akachi. What do you guys think? Personally, uh, it's very obvious. Yeah. I think he does. I think yeah. clearly if he can stagger. <laughs> When you're hurt in an accident, you're not the only one. That's fuck so random. So random. Kryptonians. Oh, the but Arkham games, but mm, so fucking good. Uh, it's so, fucking good. So, uh, fun fact. By the way, it's a little off topic. The apparently, uh, statistically, objectively wise, the Arkham games are actually still beating Spider-Man Two. But, but everybody, people that even love Batman more or love the Arkham games, are saying Spider-Man Two was better. So yeah, it's, dude, it's, it's really it's weird, good. Right now. but um, yeah, you know what I mean. So like, uh, just putting that out there to, for some controversy. But uh, from everybody saying Spider Man Two is better, but statistically it's shown not. So yeah, I'm not surprised because yeah, Arkham City is fucking good too. So yeah, they're they're both obviously they're both damn good. It's very obvious, but it, exactly. Yeah. And then and also as well, uh, Batman and Spider Man they both got Game of the Year immediately when they were released, and ten out of ten and all yeah. shit. So there's that too. Yeah, Hi. literally. As a way stronger character, you know, if he pulls out the Susano, that bitch is getting bombed. I'm sorry. He <laughs> definitely has gear um, that I believe can hurt Itachi. The fact that, that, that he can works. also embrace the explosion of that. You know what I mean? Because you know how Biju bombs work and everything, you name it rising, like you have to, like the force yeah. will come to you as well. The fact that he could throw that shit casually and he's not being blown away, you know, or or getting fucked, like that's just crazy. <laughs> that's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, that's insane, honestly. Like, like even that's if Itachi crazy. hit Batman or got a successful blow, it's not going to do no damage, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's, uh, he's able to survive this bullshit. That's fucking insane, man. His durability is crazy. I'm not going to lie. Literally. That's fucking crazy, bro. Going into this, like, 
Does he even? And we know in Naruto, the real world works as well. Physics, you name it. Same thing applies for DC. So it, yeah, you know, definitely it's science. Heard him. Yeah. Especially the Susano. Yes, he does. If we were to assume the Yadamir are literally next any attack you throw. Oh, for sure. Yep. Attacks. It's not a 360 yep. defense. Nope. Batman can make it rain. Yep, correct. Um, That's why whenever people talk about Mater versus Itachi, Itachi more likely to be fucking sure the Yadamir, but when it comes to the force of the blow, you name it, whatever, and all around, he's done. If he gets hit anywhere, he's done. You know? Yeah, fuck. Uh, he, he just had to go around and he gets, he gets fucked up. Yeah. No. Yadamir would be forced to block, and if it and if he does raise the Yadamir to block, Batman's blasting him in the chest with an explosive. Okay? So, see, this is how I see it going. They have a crazy epic fight, right? They're filling each other out because Batman got shadow clones apparently too now. You name it, things are going whatever. It's goaded. Tachi knows. Batman knows. Then Itachi's forced to do Susano. He's, he has no choice. And then next thing you know, like Batman realizes that how the Yadamir is absolutely ridiculous and broken. He's like, all right, bet I got this shit. And then basically forces the Yadamir to be in place right there where he's fucked and has to deal with something and then hits something like on the side or the back and he's dead. That's literally how I see yeah, it. Yeah, literally. So. That's all he had to do is go around it. Exactly. Uh, Several ways that can go. But in my opinion, Batman does have gear, serious gear he carries around. That can clearly. indeed yeah. hurt I want, I want to see that Supergirl. I want to see that shit one more time. Fuck. Indeed. No. Hurt. So quick. Several yeah, ways shit was quick. that can go. But in my opinion, Batman does... Right here. Let me look at this shit. God damn, bro. So she goes and talks her shit, says you're just a human, you're fodder, and tries to speed blitz him. He Damn. punches her back or whatever and deals with her. And, oh, yeah, she says, go. She even gets injured. <laughs> and then basically it's perfectly fine. <laughs> That's crazy. Damn. That's fucking insane, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Serious gear he carries around. She no diff ca uh, a canary, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Random encounters or encounters where he didn't really prep, right? He, he just got pulled up on. Let's see who Batman can okay, now he's making it against, we have to a fair right, let's see this now. Yeah. Should be, right? Um, at least in the, for the most part. We got to figure out if Batman can still contend with him. Like, because obviously. I don't think he could. Contend. I'm going to say. Yeah, right nah, not physically. No. If face to base, or, nah. Maybe as physically gifted in certain areas so in terms of speed i'm gonna go over who he's reacted to and fought and you let me know if you think he could react to a touch okay so what he's doing now is he's taking all the gadgets batman like the most insane feats of gadgets he, he's taking all that away and just doing like i guess maybe yeah. his standard normal gadgets um and then yeah. but still gonna apply certain reaction or speed feats so once again if he does some absurd shit for batman then it's actually still fucked you know like yeah he's still, so, he's still getting fucked up so yeah. hopefully he's doing like an equal or relative feats to where you know it's kind of fair game and that's cool and then at that point once again because Atachi having susano you name it whatever along with get mental hacks i do think if it really came down to it Atachi would win so yeah oh, like i mentioned briefly He's been able to react to demonic uh, Wonder Woman, and he was literally with standard gear when he was doing this. Okay, yeah, he's he fucked. He has swapped hands with <laughs> oh my <Batman> God. <laughs> the witch bitch, and he pulled up on her, no prep, and was able to be fine. She can fight members of the Justice League. Yo! He's getting fucked up. He fucking has no prep. Fucking feats and base, bro. <laughs> Just the hands. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, it felt bad for you, Tasha, uh, man. Goddamn. Like, wasn't really remembering what, who he was. He was able to defeat Vandal Savage, who um, is a, one of the more impressive, quote, street tiers from DC. He folded Artemis, who is one of the high tier Amazonian warriors. <laughs> he casually folded yeah, Hot Girl in one on one combat because she was getting out of pocket. Damn. He has defeated. <laughs> <a> <laughs> Yo, look, look, look. You can see in the photo, she's trying to be a bitch and, and dog him, and he immediately puts. Look, look, he just has fingers on her wrist, and he's fucking <laughs> her up. He's not even trying, bro. <laughs> he's like, bitch, know your place, bitch. He's like, Damn, bro. <laughs> How the fuck does that even work? He's not, like, he's. <laughs> Like, I guess kind of grabbing, but he just has, like, his fingers on her fucking wrist and is somehow like submitting to, her. They're about to fucking, like, fucking tear apart her shoulder. Goddamn. With fingers. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Who is literally shown scrapping lanterns at the same time and mocked him. Oh, my God. Um, and obviously reacted. He's the fucking Batman. <laughs> He has countered an enraged Wonder Woman for several oh, panels, Jesus. which is insanely impressive. Like, no way you think 
Enraged Wonder Woman is slower than Itachi. If you do, comment down below because you're a real. Oh, <laughs> 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 that was a good moment right when he did that though. He was like, he's probably about to say, you're a real weird, you know? <laughs> if, you, if you don't, you're in the same boat as me. I don't see Itachi being faster than her. And the fact he was able to react for several panels and even tag her was crazy. Um, he's taken down a monster of apocalyptic origin before. He has held off Essence in the Batcave, who should scale around Superman level. He also instantly used his stealth suit to evade. And he hold also on, hold up, what the used his what, what did he do to Dark Side? You're in the same boat <laughs> as me. I don't see Itachi being faster than her. And the fact he was able to react for several panels and even tag her was crazy. Um, he's taken down a monster of apocalyptic origin before. He has held off Essence in the Batcave, who should scale around Superman level. Wow. He also when nothing, oh, just his just base. My God. But not human level. Suit to evade, and he also okay, so this don't count though. What he's showing right now, because that's a stealth suit. Yeah, that, that kind of is like extra gear. Yeah, yeah that, that's prep and extra gear. Yeah, he he, he yeah. said no prep Batman. So all the other shit he showed, it's fine. But this one yeah. count. Several yeah, this one no. okay. And that stealth suit is also broken. By, by the way, if he used a stealth suit and tried to like off guard Itachi, that would absolutely kill him, and he would one shot. Oh, he's fine. Like he cannot yeah, be detected by anything. I kid you, literally nothing could have done that. Superman, nothing. Like, it's broken as fuck, that suit. Yeah, he, he's um, fucked he at that point. He folded a rookie lantern pretty casually and was actually pissed off at Guy Gardner. Um, <laughs> he, on top of what PT has performed before, like, in older comics, we've been informed that he should be faster now, and this is somewhat explained with Dionysium being, like, one of the factors, the fact he's exposed to it, has boosted his physicals. Uh, okay, so this is what he's basically bringing up. I know this knowledge. I have a certain amount of comic knowledge. I don't know everything, but I have a good amount. Um, he's referencing the Endgame comic where the Joker basically mind controlled the entire uh, Justice League with Joker toxin and made them bloodlusted yeah. to kill Batman because he basically had enough playing games with him. He didn't care anymore. He got bored. And he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna kill Batman now. And he got a bloodlusted Justice League to try to jump him, and he beat all their asses basically. Then has a final epic showdown, a hand-to-hand -hand combat with Joker, and then they, the cave falls on top of the whatever, blah, blah, and then the, the Dizium or Dizium, whatever, basically it's a chemical that allows you to be immortal and instantly regenerates your body and amps you permanently. So when you yeah. have that, that's basically what he's referring to. Yeah, man. Dead this, shot, he's too cracked, shoot bro. and pop speedsters who are MFTL plus lowballed. Um, he point blank has been able to evade Etrigan's Hellfire. Etrigan's someone who can tag Superman and Wonder Woman. Damn. He's evaded lantern type fuck? light constructs. He actually got that ninja movement, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking crazy how cracked he is. Oh, shit. He has That's reacted too much. to Johnny Quick, who had to neg his sonic brain scramble in order to survive the psionic attack Batman threw his way. Um, when Supergirl was pissed off, he was able to react to her and get out of the way when she was blowing everything up. Uh, he has- yeah, That's another problem about Supergirl, which I'm not trying to, uh, I'm just mentioning this, unfortunately women are emotional. Um, but what's it called? Yeah. But she has her moments where she gets emotional, right? And she lasts down full power, which is something Superman never does. He's always holding back. Um, but her, she don't. And he's still reacting to that shit. Things that would, that's you know, like that's just that's insane. That's a Kryptonian too. That's a, exactly, yeah, so, I mean, no holding back nothing. She's fully enraged. Going a lot, and she doesn't mean it either. Like she doesn't mean it. it; just she just can't control her anger sometimes, you know. Yeah. Um, so like, and he's still able to survive. It's just crazy. That's Before fucking insane. Evaded lasers. He's evaded and reacted to MFTL uh, heat vision before. He's dodged lantern ring blast, which can literally tag characters like Lobo. Huh. He's evaded damage. Damn. Like I said, he's he's the Kmart Hulk. He's easily snagged Impulse, who's a member, or, or should be regarded at least somewhat of a speedster. Um, and in Titans Year One... But you just see this motherfucker casually tanking a blast from Green Man. <laughs> it's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, Itachi uh, has no chance. He don't. Sucks. Tagged Kid Flash. So... This is basically a 24-minute video of Batman Slams fucking Itachi, <laughs> just like the Goku Batman video. <laughs> Literally, him whipping his fucking ass for 20 minutes. Uh, uh, towards the end, uh, me and Jay are definitely going to advocate for Itachi and all the ways he would win, you know, in circuit other circumstances. But once again, to gas him up, if it's under these feats, 
scaling whatever, then yes, we do agree it would be a slam. It's not fair at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. It would have been close. Yeah. yeah. Does Batman have the speed feats in encounters to keep up with Itachi? Absolutely. In my opinion, yeah. absolutely. These characters he's reacted to in the clutch, even when they were ra uh, raging. Itachi wouldn't be able to hit him. That's the problem. Now that Totska played, not a Susano hit, not not hit, especially hand to hand, like he's fucked. No, no. Yeah, he's, <laughs> like, getting, he's getting boxed up by Batman. Like, he, he would literally, like, for one time, the first time ever in his life, he'd be like, he's so powerful. What do I do? You know? <laughs> like, he, would, he, would look at, he would look at him the fucking way Datoro looked at him. Literally. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the Batman. <laughs> he's like, this is art. He'd be, like, shitting his pants. Like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Or, 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 what, or what he did or Orochimaru, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. He's, like, fucking sweating and shitting himself. He's like, oh, my God. I was like, what is that? You never oh, want to fight him after that. Oh, my God. Way better speed feats than Itachi. And that's the biggest problem for me here. Like I said, circling back to the beginning of the video. If you, ex uh, like, accept power scaling for what it is. Yeah. You have to look at those feats I just presented you to... Uh, for Batman. Yeah, well, he just showed right there too. That that's Dark Side's Omega Beans, by the way. And Dark Side don't hold back. He kills. He's always, you know, very yeah. cold, calculated, blows, whatever. And he will only acknowledge and respect you if you're actually worthy of it. Okay. Yeah. Batman is one of those people, by the way. He actually fears Batman. Okay, due to his intelligence, etc. He shot an Omega Beam in that fucking animated DC show, and that motherfucker was able to move fast enough and use a demon, a parademon for that to die instead and it's basically a hacks beam if it hits you it could do anything practically whatever dark side wants at that point it could either just kill you or make you travel through time endlessly all kinds of shit okay yeah and that the, shit is so bad and the fact that he could yeah. dodge that and move that fast that is ridiculous absolutely yeah, ridiculous. And dark side is just a force of nature he doesn't really have any remorse like he just kills and conquers so yeah Batman doing that shit, man, that's fucking insane. So, like, I don't want to hear that, oh, Superman holds back, or, or or Wonder Woman. It's like, no, like, all the shit he's showing you is either when they're bloodlusted, villains, or if they're being mind-controlled. Like, there's no excuse yeah. at that point, you know? Literally cracked. That's fucking insane. Like, yeah, he should easily react to Itachi. Now, if you want to argue, oh, no, Itachi low-diffs Batman... Why? Is it because Batman's quote street tier? What's what's street tier? He has stuff in his <laughs> that consistently hurts. It's a false it's a false dichotomy that people have nowadays where they just think Batman's yeah. some fodder street level human. Like eh, it's just so it's so dishonest. Like unfortunately the feats and statements are there. It, it may what well, if you think it's absurd or whatever, I don't care. It's there. <laughs> like, yeah, it might be absurd that a fucking human from fucking Gotham City whips ass like this, but <laughs> it is—it still doesn't negate it. He's that guy. <laughs> he's Batman. Like, he's fucking Batman, bro. You know, like, uh, like. Not, let's be real though. He's definitely not normal human. Hell no. You know what I mean, oh, like, no, I'll say that yeah, all day. He's not. not. No, he's superhuman. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But uh, he's so cracked. Uh, there's no way you could say he's just average human. Yeah. No. Way. Hell no. Uh, a Kryptonian street tier. Because that, that's also dishonest what a lot of Bat fans like to do. They'll be like, oh, yeah, he's just human. He could do it. Like, no, there's no way. If he was actually human, he'd be getting one shot or dead so many fucking times, you know? So, yeah, he would have died a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, there's no way. Or Itachi's below street tier. Okay? That's what it is. <laughs> so if you, like, if you think that way... Uh, uh, to be to be fair, for I, I like the funny reference because in a way it's like kind of technically true. But if we're being if we're actually yeah. analyzing Itachi, he can move at the speed of light. He can. Yeah. And yeah, that's not can. street tier. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, not. You know, if you can move at those speeds, or whatever, like you're fucking cracked. Like you could basically go through a city and kill a whole human population instantaneously. You know, like yeah, like you water city. You, you can you like, could go through a fucking everything. city building casually. You know, like yeah. So that uh, I won't go that far, but I get what he's saying. He's basically saying in comparison to Batman, you know what I mean? He's street tier, basically. He's the fucking street tier. You yeah, know, like, compared to him, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just believe that's wrong. In the end, if you support power scaling and like, if you look through history, you're gonna see Batman gets a lot more serious against higher tier foes. Yeah. And has yeah. plenty of feats that surpass what Itachi brings to the table. Unfortunately, just the whole Naruto verse. Unfortunately, yeah. You know, unless he probably we fucks up everyone. Yeah, unless you're eventually getting to Boruto tier power. You know what I mean? But you know, that's where it could be even more contentious. But even even when we're getting to points like that, he's still just doing things that's beyond that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he's like. 
fucking like able to hurt do- fucking uh, Doomsday and shit. Like, yeah, even the suits would have trouble with that. Like, to be honest. like the, the, he's um, he's over here bringing up feats that is like universal or gal whatever blah blah. And unfortunately, even the Borta characters, like if you're highballing, you can do certain things or whatever. But but either way, like for the most part, even Borto can't even compete in that sense. You know, like so yeah, like no. if if we're talking about a Batman that's more balanced though, like to where he's also planetary himself, whatever, then it's fair game. And, you know, and then you can have fun with the Borto aspects, but. But yeah. Batman is cracked, dude. You know. Yeah, most cracked would even fuck up with suits keys. Like he's that yeah. cracked. Yeah. So, yeah. Him to take him down. And it's weird. It's weird as fuck. Like imagine Batman just walking up to to Ishiki or Jigen, and like he takes <laughs> off his bat suit and just beats his ass. Oh my god. He's like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Naruto, buddy. Yeah, I mean, li- li- literally, like he, like he takes his sandals off. He's like, oh, that, is this what we're doing? He takes his utility belt, his suit off, <laughs> and beats <laughs> his ass. <laughs> it's like I got my ass beat by Bruce Wayne. Literally. Ishiki would be like, you inferior creature! (laughs) (laughs) Genjutsu, definitely not an option for me. That's probably the most confident out of any of the categories I am for Batman is negging Genjutsu. Yeah, he would. Definitely should not be on the table for anyone. If you look at the mind hacks he's negged in DC, that shit's not close. Tachi gets embarrassed in DC against those uh, telepaths. Don't do that. But in the end, (laughs) <laughs> because of what he's accomplished throughout the years, the fact that Rebirth has really... I like him. He's, he kind of reminds me of TG in a way. I don't know if you... If you... Yeah, he's kind of similar. He's pretty, yeah. He seems pretty Batman chill. He carries around OD shit all the time. He's Batman's so paranoid, he literally thinks he's going to get jumped by Superman tier foes all the time. Yep. Walking yep. down the street. Uh, that yep. paranoid. He keeps contingency. He's very... Fun. He's like Toby Rama. He's very precautious, paranoid. Don't fuck literally. around. Don't fuck around. Con- you know? Contingency plans for the Justice League, literally. Yeah. The whole world, all the villains, yeah. all the heroes, like, <laughs> like Even aliens, aliens in the universe, <laughs> you know, himself, literally. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like, like that one scene in the Justice League anim- animation show, he, they're like, why would you do that, Batman? Why would you have plans against us? He's like, the fact that you guys, you guys don't do that, you guys are fucking retards. Literally, like, when he bro. roasted the, yeah, that movie, it's uh, ju- it's uh, it's called Justice League, uh, fuck, I forgot, man, but. Oh my god, he was a savage, bro. He roasted Dude, he was the roasting him. all of them. <laughs> and then I think he quit after. He's like, you know what? Yep. I don't fuck with you. I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> the yeah, only uh, human quitting the job. If you guys want to talk about a separate uh, scaling of variable, when it comes to like, savagery or cold or roasting, oh my god, he takes it to a whole other level, bro. Oh, he's the best. Like, he's if you thought Jigen or Ishiki was bad with the taking off his shoe, bro, this motherfucker is hilarious. What his words, what he does, <laughs> the dish, like. <laughs> He fucking roast Superman. He doesn't give a damn. Fuck don't fucking that. care. It could be Dark Side. He'll talk his shit. He don't care, bro. That <laughs> he carries stuff around that can hurt those types of characters. So in the end, because of the gear he does carry around, the fact he easily can react to a top. What the fuck? Fucking random, random ass ass. <laughs> I'm not saying he. Blitz isn't one shot to Tachi. I don't think he punches hard enough to one shot to uh, one shot Tachi or anything like that. Definitely though has to combat reactive speed to get out of the way of whatever Tachi is trying to throw at him. Even Amaterasu, there's no way. Like we've seen uh, Batman get hit by like Heat Vision before and Kryptonian Vision and survive it. His suit take it. To be fair though, if we're arguing physics and science, if he's able to tank these level of forces and blows whatever, then he can most definitely probably output it as well in a sense. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. If we're going the laws of physics and you name it. Um, so just putting that out there. But I see what he's saying, like where he, to where he's basically saying like he only has these feats, so we can't really argue if he can hit that hard, you know? But at the yeah. same time, it's if, if his body can be durable enough to not take any damage or survive it in a way you could definitely argue that he should be able to output the way. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to. You know what I mean? It's just it's physics, you know? Yeah, um, like his striking AP should be high enough to probably at least relative. pretty bad. Though. Yeah, at least yeah. relative. You know, either either to hurt him extremely bad or theoretically one shot. It's, it's just physics, yeah. it's, you know? It's definitely possible with these, like, cracked-ass feats he's, they've been showing. Yeah. yeah, it's very possible. Yeah. Uh, Amaterasu, at best, like, burns all... But if you want to be generous and you say he has, like... You know, just normal AP level, I guess, whatever, to be equal relative to Tachi. That's fine. E- either way, with all this shit, he would still win, you know? Yeah. He'd, Tachi he'd wouldn't be able to land anything. Blitzing. He would just pressure point nah. him, nerve strike him. He'd use hack strikes if he needs to, you know? Like, he's definitely a better hand-to-hand combatant as well in comparison to a Tom. I'm sorry, but that oh, yeah. Batman, yeah. You, you know, that's not even a contest. So, 
like overall, like it, it wouldn't even matter. Atachi wouldn't be able to land any blows on him. He would be forced to go into Susano. He would have to. He would. Just, he would not win that. Yeah, and, and, and I'll yeah. be honest, like yeah, that too. Atachi would also that would be in character. He would also just run because he, he he would expect and, and acknowledge his limits. Or two, as always, he would test out a shot clone again, whatever. And the moment he knows he just can't fuck with this guy, he's going to use Susano. He's not stupid, you know. So yeah, no way you think suicide. that turns yeah. hotter than Superman's vision or Kryptonian uh, heat vision. If you do, respect your hustle as well. But I also, honestly, <laughs> I don't think it would get him. Uh, I think he yeah, no, Super, Superman's heat vision, vision is definitely stronger than a Moderatsu. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. that shit, like, way. fucking melts you. Yeah. In the worst case, it would, like, get on his cow. Could, it get could hurt dark cow. side. If it can even burn through. Yeah, so, I don't literally. know if it could. But he, he, worst case, he throws off his helmet or cow, wherever it goes. But That's the thing, too. Yeah, he can pull, like, a Madara or, a, you know what I mean, or, or a Naruto cloak. It hits him. It doesn't do shit. And he's like, bitch. And then he, like, either has a gadget that could just shave it off. Or he just takes off the armor. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, uh, literally. The character's way more impressive than But then again, to be fair, with the durability feats he's shown or whatever, I don't even think the Amaterasu would hurt him at that fucking point. If he's over here surviving and tanking all this shit, uh, what the fuck is that going to do? Like, he might as well just pull, it. He, he just pull a Jigen yeah. and just be like... Nice black flames, cool, and then beat him up. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that shit probably wouldn't hurt. Blow them apart, just like he has the gear to blow apart Atachi. In the end, I don't see, you know, I don't even see that big ass Tosca blade. Like I said, if the Susano comes out, I, I really see Batman pulling out the big gun yep. explosives and putting in work on that big ass Susano that just For suddenly sure. surprised him. He's yeah. not gonna know yeah. what it is. It's just gonna be massive, and it looks. It looks almost magic or divine in nature, yeah. and Batman's not gonna yeah, play around with that. Tashi's not gonna like when Batman stops playing around. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I the firepower in his belt. Uh, he's gonna immediately get serious, strategize, get in. He's fucked. Done. Neg. Yeah, Tashi's gonna be all shit. Tashi throws his way. In the end, I definitely see Batman having what it takes to take down Tashi in a random encounter. If you ask me, with power scaling. Who wins if these two were to clash? Who I'd put my money on? It's on Batman. Yeah. But anyways, guys. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you All right. So good video. Really, really good yeah, video. Yeah, that, that, that was a really good video. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very underrated. Please give him love, guys. You know what I mean? Uh, give sub. Check his his channel out. Whatever you name it. Really, really good. Yeah, he's dope. Uh, video. Yeah. I'll make sure to put his name in the the YouTube title as well. Um, but definitely check him out, guys. Give him all the love and everything. But uh, me and Jay will give a little commentary on what are your thoughts, Jay. I thought uh, the scaling was really well. Obviously, he went with like the strong, not the strongest iterations, because that's not even a competition or worth the video. He went with stronger iterations, though, yeah. like when it comes to all the Batmans that exist as far as continuities. And he's completely right. Batman would fucking, in, in basically every aspect, his superior speed, probably yeah. even AP, uh, intelligence, durability. Like, there's, there's really nothing Itachi could literally do. Even the fucking Genjutsu, he'd probably be, there's a higher probability he would break out of that. Yeah. And at that point, but Itachi would literally be a sitting duck. He'd have to run away, and that wouldn't work either. He'd get fucking blitzed and one-shotted, probably. Yep. Um, I agree. With this scaling, it's just... It's not really even a competition, to be honest. It's a yeah. one-sided affair, and Batman would have his way with him. So and, he's right and it's really he not fair. Job. It's really not fair either, because th the problem, Itachi's limited what we have for him. Batman has so yeah. fucking much. Not, like... like fucking... Hundreds of iterations, <sighs> hundreds of continuities, probably thousands of fucking feats at this point. Literally. Fucking so many... Yeah, so much literature written on him. And Itachi, we, we know some about him, but one, we don't know too much in comparison, and two, he just doesn't have remote feats comparing to those. Like, that's fucking cracked-ass shit that just can't compare. Like, most people in Naruto can't, to be fair. Yeah. You can't compare to that. Well, you, so. you can't. We have to be logical and objective here, you know? So it's like, don't get me wrong, we love Itachi, whatever you name it, you know, but it's just, that's just kind of what you're working with. At the end of the day, everything Itachi has, Batman can deal with effortlessly effortless yeah it's I mean? not a problem like it's just yeah. not a problem and then and mind you even unprepared if he doesn't even have prep time just with his base suit he even provided enough evidence where he would still slam like there's so many fucking problems like even with just base no prep no crazy gadgets either still slams even with crazy gadgets slams harder with prep it's not like it's a, it's like a negative no diff okay and then yeah it's, it'd know, be horrible. Like, yeah. it's just horrible so along yeah. with all that absolutely correct um i don't want to make this video any more longer it is it's already an hour or something but um overall like if we're talking obviously about a balanced batman though where it's either relative equal whatever in that regard 
and it's more fair game, then my money would be on Itachi. You know what I mean? Because even if Batman may be, even if you argue he's still smarter and a better combat fighter, Itachi's not an idiot. You know what I mean? He will strategize accordingly and have something to take advantage of him having limits while he doesn't because Itachi's basically the, the super super fiction element compared to Batman, right? Batman's more on the yeah. realism of spectrum of things. And if we're talking relative or equal stats, and you name it, then at that point, like, all Itachi has to do, really, is just whip out Susano. What the fuck does he do? What does Batman do, bro? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially if it's, like, a, one of the weakest iterations, like, year year one Batman, where he's literally getting he hit gets by blitzed. random thugs. You know, he just gets blitzed like, at that point, yeah. Oh, yeah, he gets speed blitzed yep. and probably totes good, like, right away. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be a fight at all. Like, that would be the other the other extreme case where Itachi's one-shotting him, literally. It wouldn't be what any a- uh, competition whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Composite characters make interesting discussions. So depending on the version, clearly that will greatly alter like the conclusion. Um, in this in this specific case with this video, so he was completely right. Yeah. He thought she has no fucking chance. He gets fucking slammed and he gets he got to run away. Yeah, he got to run away. So yeah. so in a, in a nutshell, if it's a the weakest composite, gets slammed, blitzed by Itachi. If it's if it's fair game, Itachi still comes on top. Um, due to what he has in comparison, it's just not fair, unfortunately, for Batman, you know? Yeah. Um, now, now, if you give that Batman prep time, though, then he would win instead, even oh, if yeah. it is fair game. Probably, you know? To be fair, yeah, even, like, average Batman, which is not really average in the yeah. grand scheme of things, he'd probably, if he had prep time, he yeah. would study chakra ne- natures. He'd probably yeah. come up with some, like, synthetic 64 palm and would shut down the <laughs> chakra. Now, he'd do all kinds of shit. He'd make, like, a synthetic 64 palm attack that would have even allowed him to use chakra and he'd get fucked up. Like, he'd do some crazy <laughs> or, or figure out a way how yeah. to penetrate through the Susano somehow, you know what I mean? Like, or better yet, he's so yeah. fucking smart, he could even probably figure out how to, like, get rid of the Totska, uh, Tot- uh, not the Totska, the Yadimir, or or even go through that somehow. <laughs> like, it's yeah, Batman, he, bro, he would, you know? <laughs> he would fucking fold them with prep time. Yeah, so bad. if it's prep time yeah. with equal or, like, fair, relative, whatever, he would definitely, but if it's not prep, he loses no matter what. Absolutely. Yeah, if he's no prep, so, he, he would be surprised by, like, what the fuck is that sh- that big-ass yeah. blade and he gets stabbed And he's by done, it. yeah. yeah. And he's just done, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, and obviously, if we go with what he provided in this video, it's the other way around. Itachi gets slammed, yeah, he, blitz, whatever. Yeah, he fucking you know? slammed. So, yeah. But that's basically what it is, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts down below what you think overall of Batman as a character, Itachi, and how it would go in all these hypotheticals that we brought upon and the video as well. Um, make sure to sub and check out Jay the Great's channel as well. He has tons of go-to sure. content, um, debates, all kinds of shit. IRL, uh, UFC, Naruto, you name it. So if you're not, he's not just one type of content guy. Um, he'll mainly do... More of the UFC in Naruto, but he still does a broad amount of shit. A lot of shit. So, yeah. um, so definitely check him out, guys. I'll have his uh, YouTube description at, or in the title, as I always do. Um, but you guys in the vibes. Anyways, Batman out. Peace. Peace.